Hey curl friends, welcome to my channel for another weekly wash day. Today I'm not focusing on the actual washing part, so no cleansing and conditioning my hair in this video, but more so the styling part. But first I did want you to look at my hair after shampooing it. You can see curls in my hair. So I'm definitely making progress and I just wanted to document that within this video. So today I will be doing my fifth wash and go. And I'm, as always, I'm very excited for how it turns out because you can definitely see the progression of my techniques and my hair. So if this is something that you're interested in, keep on watching. <laughs> welcome to my channel so as you can see I'm in the middle of doing a wash and go this is probably like my fifth one since partnering with a cut a kinky stylist and I must say practice does make perfect this is not perfect but it's it's getting there like I've made some really good progress in how I'm doing this washing look at the and the fact that I'm continuing to use no raw oils or butters and these high quality products I think it's really been helping I have a single strand not there um so yeah we're in the middle of doing a wash and go and products that I'm using of course are the curly magic curl simulator by uncle Plunky's daughter and the inner sense I create whole when I got out the shower, well, I was still in the shower, but when I finished rinsing the conditioner out, I went in and I just wasted some. But I went in with this all throughout my hair and now I'm just going back in and applying water because it's kind of dried out by now. It took, it took a little while, it's still taking me a little while to get through my whole entire head. But anyways, I used Uncle Bunky's order throughout my whole head. And then as I got on each section, I, well, I was in the shower at first, but I was just putting my hair under the water to get more water and then uh, apply the Accurate Hold. So now that I'm not in the shower anymore, I'm going to just use my spray bottle because your girl's feet were tired, bruh. I was, not bruh, sis. <laughs> or bruh, you know, that can be whatever. Um, I was, I've been standing for a while. So for like the whole wash day, I've been on my feet and I got out the shower because I wanted to sit down. Although I do have a little bench in my shower, I just didn't want to record in my shower today because it's just a lot. It adds on more time when I need to record something. Anyways, I'm going to pin this up. And then I'm also going to break this into a smaller section. And I'm looking this way because there's a mirror right there. When my stylist gave me this little card that told me how I should be doing my hair weekly, she suggested that, that I do wash and goes weekly. But I just don't have it in me to do a wash and go every single week. So there was a month where I was doing strictly wash and goes. And then I um, went back to twist outs, but this is my first time uh, in a couple weeks doing a wash and go. I obviously I'm almost done, but I wanted to put this in real time so you can actually see it as I'm doing it and not me um, speeding it up. So I'm just gonna go ahead and wet it. likes water so don't be afraid to use water but like when I put water in look at this already getting curls so I'm gonna go ahead and kind of rake the curl stimulator in because that's already in my hair
Then I'm gonna get a little pump of the Acrylate Hold. Mulsify it a little bit. Give it, look at this y'all. Can y'all see this? Going to apply that. Smooth and rake. Smooth and rake. And look at these curls, y'all. Seriously. My hair could have never done this before. I used to swear my hair was 4C, but my stylist was like, it's not 4C, it's just dehydrated. Cause like, look what happens when I get my hair hydrated. And I'm so glad that it's finally happening for me. Especially before actually knowing more about what the you know, oil and the butter detox really entails. But even after doing it and me like being consistent using these products for a couple weeks because they usually say, well, they don't usually say, the detox says 30 days of using this, you'll see change. And I did see change, but you know, it wasn't, I've seen someone who have actually gone through the process and how their hair looks afterwards. And I'm not gonna lie, I cannot say that I didn't hope that my hair would get hydrated sooner. But like I said in, um, not my last video, but the last video that I did the voiceover for, which was I think week eight, um, I mentioned that it sometimes it takes more than a month for your hair to be hydrated. And I also mentioned that I've been putting oils in my hair for the last three or four years that I've been natural. So that's a lot of work to undo. So I, I'm actually glad that I waited its course and was patient because look at this y'all because it'll be rewarding in the end let me know in the comments how long it took you for your hair to look or feel hydrated and how much or how often you were using oils prior to starting the detox. Going in with the inner sense, I create hold, emulsify it a little bit, and apply to my hair. Smoothing and raking. Literally everything about my hair, my wash day is easier now. Look at, no, my hair could have never done this before. And so I guess we're doing a curl talk cause I've been talking a little bit about my journey. And I recently heard of the phrase curl chasing. I think that's what it's called. And I don't know, like some people, they're making it seem like it's a bad thing, but is it really a bad thing to want curls? Like, I see that they say like the standard, 
the beauty standard is to have like curly, like ringlet curls, but not necessarily. It's just curls in general. Like I like curls. And the reason I like this is because my hair is being hydrated. So I think they go, kind of think they go hand in hand, like curl chasing and wanting your hair to be healthy, hydrated. They're like one and the same, I think. Please let me know in the comments if you disagree. Don't be rude, <laughs> just leave me a comment. But I don't know, to me they're the same thing because I've been saying this in like every video, how I'm like really excited to see my hair transform, to see the curls. And then the course that Black Girl Curls offers is called See Some Curls. So I don't, I don't know, I just don't agree with curl chasing as something negative. Let me know your thoughts in the comments. So, one thing my stylist also told me, she's like, never ask me for a middle part. And you know what? I don't. The only time I actually do a middle part is if I do a twist out and I let the hair fall like that. Sometimes I've been trying to lately just do a part on this side to let this be my heavy side. Because when I was relaxed, this was my heavy side. And I actually like wearing my hair like that. Using a spray bottle. Get it soaked. And you can kind of do the same scrunching. It's not the same, but I do hear a little squishy uh, sound when I ball the hair up and squeeze like this. See? Just wanna make sure I'm putting enough water in here because our hair loves water. We should not be afraid of water, which is definitely one thing that I learned throughout this whole process. My hair's a little tangled right there. So I'm just trying to detangle a little bit with my fingers. And I have not been using my brush. So in the back, I did start off using the brush to kind of comb it out. And you see there's a little bit of hair in there. But I think when I do the conditioner step, I'm doing a really good job of detangling. I'm taking my time to detangle. So I shouldn't have to comb through my hair or brush my hair when I'm done rinsing the product out because I should have done a good job detangling it in the first place. I create whole smoothing and breaking. and it looks good. Now I'm gonna actually go from the back, take hair from the back so I can lay down that way instead of like coming to either side. stimulator because I doubt I got this section
This is amazing. Even the crown of my head, which is the part that I usually neglect, is showing results. So I think I should do one more part from the back and then I'll go ahead and split my hair into two. All right, so I just finished setting my hair. Now I'm gonna go in the shower and go like this and shake the excess water out so that I can sit under the dryer and hopefully be dry within the hour. My hair is really thick, so yeah. I wanna get as much excess water out as I can. So let me go ahead and do that. I'll just turn the camera this way so you can see. So we shook the water out and now I'm gonna go sit under the dryer. Hopefully I do not touch my hair because I do like playing in my hair, especially when I can feel curls and see them. So I'm just gonna try to sit under the shower, under the hooded dryer and let it do its work. And then I'll come back to show you the final results. So I'm back after sitting on it under the hooded dryer and this is the result. I'm loving it. So let me come closer so you can see. Like these are some good curls. To the YouTube hand. So you can see those curls. Yeah, so I'm very satisfied with this wash and go. This is definitely my favorite. I'm praying that the time that it takes to do this will shorten each time that I do it. So I'm gonna continue doing my wash and goes. This side, like the root part, it's still wet. And let's see if there's a, yeah. So I really should have diffused it because my stylist told me I should diffuse it. But I didn't feel like it. I'm loving how this turned out. If you are loving it too and enjoy this video, go ahead and give me a big thumbs up. Also consider subscribing to my channel if you wanna join the gang with my curl friends and just watching me on my new healthy hair journey. If you are interested in following me on my journey, go ahead and click the subscribe button and the bell to be notified whenever I post. Share this out with all your curl friends and until the next one, I'll see you later. Bye.